Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we'll be taking a look at a 3.3 Elixir Fast Cycle Minor Balloon Control Deck, as you can see over here. Very strong offensive and defensive strategy in Clash Royale. You have Magic Archer in there, guys, one of the strongest cards in the game right now, for defensive splash damage and also for a third win condition on offense as well. You have the Hunter in there as a damage dealer and also as a splash damager as well. E-Wizard for resetting and for splash damage and range defense. Defense. Knight is your tank, obviously. Minor and Balloon are your primary win conditions, guys. Overall, a very well-rounded deck. Now, once again, guys, huge shout-out to everyone using Creator Code Chain in their shop. If you guys don't know, throw in Creator Code Chain into your shop. It does expire every seven days. And if you throw that in there before you buy any special offers, I uh, get a small percentage of whatever you spend. It costs you nothing, and it really helps support the channel and helps support me being able to do videos for you guys. So if you, if you want to support me, that is how you can do so by throwing in Creator Code Shane in your shop, and I very much appreciate it. So, oh, Barbarians. Typically, uh, Barbarians, I would say, is Fireball, like, Bait, or Lava Hound. Those are the two decks that I think right now kind of run, uh... I'm still... Oh! Spicy! It's a spicy meatball right there, boys. Miner goes in front and tanks for the night combo. Law goes down. The reason they used the Miner up front there was that way if they did use anything on defense against my Miner, the Hunter would support it. But I think we're just going to go ahead here. Wait. There we go. Boom. Nice. So, e Wizard, Bats, Balloon, Barbs. Interesting. I mean, it still could be Lava Hound. Like, Lava Loon. Oh, Golem Balloon. Dudes and Dudettes. This is going to be absolutely f uh, filthy. I'm going to go Magic Archer here to get some tower damage done. Also to apply the pressure. What you got, buddy? What you got? Lightning Spell here. Okay. Kill that Golem, please. Snowball this, Jazz. Nice. Because the skeletons should clean up this golem right here. There we go. And now we're gonna go minor balloon. Get our magic archer prepped and ready for an e wizard by him. Is there no e wizard there? He fireballs that balloon. He has to. Otherwise, that tower is dead. He rages it. Very interesting choice of cards there, guys. Balloon bomb will not destroy that. E wizard will right here though. However, snowball this as well. Voice just cracked awkwardly. And that hunter is dead to the balloon bomb. But honestly, we have ourselves basically a GG. I'm going to go minor balloon right lane. Just to apply the pressure. Because I don't want to give him time to set up like a big massive push. So instead, we're just going to be chilling right now. What you got? What you got for me? What you got? What you got? Can't you see? Oh. This dude's spicy, man. We call him Spice Man. Who says that? I call him that. The balloon's dead. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, poor dude. Poor dude. Magic Archer left lane. Assemble. I said assemble. All right. You assembled, and I appreciate it. So, what an interesting deck. Golem, Balloon, Rage, Fireball, uh, Rage. Very, very interesting. I love seeing off-meta decks like that. Like, that, that was probably one of the more interesting battles I've had in a long time. Because you don't know what to expect. It keeps you on your toes. Uh, and I love it. I love seeing, like, different off-meta strategies. So if you watching right now use an off-meta deck, let me know what it is down below. But uh, congratulations for being unique. I appreciate it. Because sometimes I feel like it can start to feel like you see a lot of the same decks over and over and over again. And uh, I feel like saying something different is cool. You know? Wouldn't y'all agree? Dude, that sucks. Get your get your magic archer out of here. Get that magic archer out of here. So obviously he's got a Pekka peck a Bridge Bam deck. Pekka, Pekka Bridge Bam, Pekka Bridge Bam, Pekka Bridge Bam. Come on. Barb's dead. Nice. So is that. 
typically these decks run, uh, what do you call it? Right? They run the, what, what do you call it, right? It's gonna go a minor here by itself for now. He's gonna go Bandit for that. Actually, he's not back to Bandit just yet, is he? You can go Knight right here. That way he can't go uh, Magic Archer as easily. Here we go. Noise. I like where this is going so far. Hunter here. Snowball as well. Nice. There we go. I like he. Oh, I need my E-Wizard right meow. Right now. Go, E-Wizard, go. Yes, there we go. Thank you, E-Wizard. Appreciate the support. So we're over committing on defense right now, which is not good. We want to be building the Elixir Lee, which we are not right now. Which is rather... Actually, you know what? That ghost right there... Wasn't terrible. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't terrible either. So the question is right here. If he goes... If he starts going slow, pack a push... I guarantee we dead. He was he here for the balloonage? Bandit. All right, we good with that. Kelton's here. Nice. I figured he would go like that. I figured he would do that. Dang it, Daniel. Come on. I don't see. I don't see how he defend this left lane here, guys. I honestly don't. That tower's going down. Yeah. That tower's going down there. We can't defend that. Overcommitted for sure, dude. Overcommitted for sure, man. Some of this back. Thank you. Shoot Hunter. Thank you. Knight here. Skeletons as well. Thank you, sir. Cool. It's not over yet, guys. We're down, but we're not out. Magic Archer here. Hunter here. Thank you. So I want to go Minor Balloon, but we know he's got the E-Wizard there. I just don't see how we win this, guys. He's got E-Wizard in hand, which is not good. One of these. One of these. One of these. Come on. All right, we just want E-Wizard right now. Minor Balloon right here. Come on. We got this, baby. We got this. Let's go. Yes. Balloon shoots. One more time, Balloon, please. One more time, Balloon. Death Damage should finish it, though, right? Yeah, there we go. Good game. That was a very close battle, guys. I was actually le legitimately stressed out there. I did not think we are going to win that one. We played pretty bad. That first half of that battle, we overcommitted a lot on offense and defense. We didn't build the Elixir value, and... Um, we had one good push on the right, but I mean, we kind of just tower traded. It wasn't really a good push. We just kind of, he just didn't really defend it and just saved his Elixir for the opposite lane. So there was no real way we could have stopped that push left lane. At least I don't think so. Not without like, you know, a fireball or something in our deck, right? We don't have like a heavy hitter splasher. Like E-Wizard is like only two targets. Uh, Snowball is a, a lighter spell. Magic Archer uh, doesn't do too much damage to like tank your cards. So... Like, dealing with a, a big clump up at the bridge like that uh, wasn't quite as easy as I had hoped. But we still made it happen, which is good. So, let's do one more battle over here. And we'll kind of keep it going against Mookie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Mookie. Ay, ay, ay. Sir, I see you have a uh, musketeer. But let me ask you this question right now. Do... You have anything else? What is that you say? You have nothing? Well, then I'm gonna go e you right here. Come on. Come on, Hunter. I think we're dead, boys. Oh, he's gone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a dead tower in the right. Holy macro. Okay. That was a lot of tower damage, guys. Wow, okay. I, he, I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like he's got infinite elixir. He just pulled out a, a freaking miner and then a, a, a wall breakers out of, out of where? 
Out of where? That's what I want to know. He's got- Oh, he's got bats. Minions. Mini P.E.K.K.A. No! No! Dude, the balloons don't even get there, man. Jeez. Guys, we're dead. We're legitimately dead. This is not representative of this deck. I'm just- Oh, that's- Yeah, that tower's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude. That's not cool, man. That is not cool, man. I thought we had him with the minor balloon, but we couldn't get the... I thought he had bats, not minions. Because I was going to go E-Wizard, but the E-Wizard wouldn't kill the minions fast enough. Ugh. But it's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. Don't worry. I'm a trained professional. We got this. We got this, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Right? Right, dudes? We got this, guys. This here. Come on. Come on, what you got? Go blue one shot, please. Ah, he snowballs it, lame. Let's go. Guys, don't worry. I'm still trained. I'm still a trained professional. Don't worry, guys. I need to get this, uh, this, uh, Mega Knight down here. Alright, that tower's dead. We got one tower down. Then we should get the other tower down here. We should be fine. We should be fine, right? Just give me one more minute, Clash Rail. I need one more minute there to win. Yikes, that was rough, guys. That was rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was a very rough battle. Mookie, you're absurd, buddy. But, whenever you lose a battle, there is a chance for, what do you call it? Redemption. There's a chance for redemption right now. Let's do it. We got this, guys. We got this. Actually, I'm, I'm curious right now on something. Uh, where is it? Right here. Just checking one thing out right now. All right, we good. So, Clifton's to cycle here. Let's do this. Can't see anything. Never mind. I can't see what I wanted to see from this thing, so we shall ignore it. I guess just go hunt right here for that magic archer. Not too sure what to expect from this battle. There could be a variety of things as Magic Archer is a fairly popular card. Here we go. Lightning spell or fireball here? I doubt it. Poison. Okay. Was that a bit of an overcommittal with that uh, miner there? Gonna be wall breakers, I guess. Wait for it. Thank you. So Iwiza goes down there. He NATO's to activate his King Tower here, which is a good choice by him. But honestly, the King Tower activation isn't that big of an impact in a battle with a balloon deck. It hurts versus the miner, but against the balloon, it's not the end of the world. So, I'm going to go... He probably has Bomb Tower in there, which means the Balloon... The Balloon takes two shots to get through a Bomb Tower without the assistance of a... Um... What do you call it? Without the assistance of a... Thingy me, Bobby. Arrows. Ah! <laughs> we have the same idea, guys. That's hilarious. We had the exact same idea there. Both of us went minor for the uh, magic archers. Snowball this back. Okay, I see ya. I'm wondering when he's gonna start poisoning these. Bomb tower for this, maybe? Poison for all three of them. I'm okay with that, actually. Let's do this. Like this. Thank you. Nice. So that magic archer is dead. Knight here. Magic archer here. Come on, baby. Let's go. Nothing's for the miner. 
There is that bomb tower, guys, that I was speaking about earlier. He was he here? Now we do one of these. Kelton's back here for the uh, wall breakies. He goes bomb tower for that, which we're definitely going to outcycle that, which is pretty nice. One more minor balloon down in this business. Come on. What you got for me, boy? Nice NATO. But we do get death damage to your tower. Which I don't think you realize that. Wait for that to lock onto the knight, then do this. Never mind, we're noobs. Okay, we good. We good, we good. Monitor down here, please. Snowball this back. Come on, let's go. Hmm. He was he here. Come on, let's go. You just need a bit more damage to his tower here. Snowball this, Jazz. Come on, there we go. Oh, he misses his natal. Good game. All right, so that was the redemption battle, guys. That was a redemption battle versus wall breakers. <laughs> we got absolutely destroyed by Mookie. That wasn't even a contest. It was just like an absolute destruction. I'm pretty sure they have to censor that on YouTube because we just got absolutely destroyed so bad. That was a slaughter against Mookie. Like, we didn't even have a chance. He just outplayed us in every aspect of the game, man. But we, we, the game gave us a chance for redemption against uh, Wallbreakers again. So I'm happy we made it happen. All right, guys, let's go ahead here. Finish off with one replay versus a absolutely absurd deck. Giant Skeleton Clone. And you guys know how those clone decks are. They can be absolutely devastating if you aren't prepared for them. Uh, thankfully, we got, like, we got some decent cards in here. We got Magic Archer. We got E-Wizard. We got Snowball, right, for splash damage. The only issue is that, like, obviously Magic Archer, uh, the, the width of his attack is very little. So he can get easily overwhelmed by, like, swarmy... Uh, clone stuff like that. Uh, the E-Wizard only hits two units. Obviously, it's got a zap effect when you first use him, but sometimes he can die pretty fast like that. And uh, then we got Snowball. So what we really lack here is like a poison or a NATO for like a, a emergency reset button that some decks have. But if we play it properly, we can win. So we can go minor balloon left lane just because I figured that he only really had like probably bats. I was guessing bats he had for defense. Thankfully, he doesn't really have anything, so the tower goes down to, uh, like, 300 health. Knight destroys the Giant Skeleton in the right lane. He clones left lane. We soak some tower damage here, but I wait for both Skeleton Barrels to pop before going E-Wizard. Very important that I did that. If I would have used E-Wizard earlier, uh, the tower would have went down, probably, because the E-Wizard would have got uh, over overwhelmed by the the second clone barrel skeletons. And then, the obviously, the Firecracker right lane we just ignored. Because I knew we couldn't really defend anything anyways. So, rather soak one shot by the Firecracker. And then just kind of like get the Electra back. But, thankfully we have Tower down here with that Miner finishing it off. Now, he isn't able to get anything in front of this Flying Machine. So, we're going to go ahead distract it with the Skeletons. I want to keep my Hunter and my Magic Archer in hand for his clone. So, I don't want to use it there against the Magic or the Flying Machine. I want to keep it in hand for the clone. Soak some Tower damage on new Skeletons instead. Going to go Magic Archer here on the right. I was kind of hoping to bait out a Fireball. He didn't really fall for it, which is unfortunate. So instead, I'm going to go Balloon. Now, notice how I separate things. I go Knight in the pocket with the Balloon on the right. That way, if he does Fireball everything, he doesn't get the Knight in there as well. Thankfully, the Balloon Bomb will destroy the Firecracker, which helps us out a lot because, uh, obviously, the less counter pushing is uh, obviously better. Now, we're going to go, I think, a Moiner here to tank the Giant Skeleton. E-Wizard retargets the Baby D to my uh, Miner, keeping the Magic Archer alive. He was it destroys everything else. Magic Archer is still alive. And there we go with 30 seconds left, guys. We're looking pretty good here for the win. So we're going to go Night Blue once again. Uh, I don't really have any, like, intention of getting tower damage done. All I really want is to force him to spend Elixir on defense to keep him in a defensive stance and prevent him from going on offense. Um, and then, obviously, it's a bonus that we get the Firecracker uh, from the Balloon Bomb, which ma basically makes the Balloon cost 2 Elixir when it neutralizes the 3 Elixir Firecracker. So, anyways, um, pretty solid defense there, guys. And we hold on for the one crime victory over a Giant Skeleton clone deck. Look at the baby dragon dancing there. He was dancing to my emote. But uh, seriously, 
Like, the clone decks can be very overwhelming if you aren't prepared for it. So, like, for example, that left lane there, when he went double skeleton barrel, double baby Ds and cloned it. Um, if I would have went E Wizard too early, we would have lost the tower. And then trying to push when there's one tower left, like trying to push same lane into a giant skelly deck sucks. So it's very important that I waited out both the skeleton barrel pops and then went E Wizard to get the uh, all the skeletons cleaned up. But uh, overall, uh, pretty good battle. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and copy it and play around with it yourself. Uh, very, very fun strategy. 3.3 uh, average elixir. Uh, fast cycling. Not super fast cycling, but it is faster than the average deck. You have very solid defense and offensive decks or cards in this deck with the minor for offense, the balloon for offense, and the magic archer. You basically have three win conditions in this deck. And overall, pretty solid, guys. Once again, huge shout out to everyone using Creator Code Shane in their shop. I know. I'm sorry. I say it so much, but uh, it means a lot to me, guys when you support me with that. So I very much appreciate it. But anyways, guys that guys and girls, sorry, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to some Clash Royale content. Thank you for watching, guys and girls. We shall see you in the next one.